If you play on mobile and you struggle with PvP and with playing blocks fruits in general you clicked on the right video. Here I will show you some tips and tricks that should definitely improve your skills so make sure to watch till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments what device you play blocks fruits on. So firstly we have to prepare your phone for the game before you even enter it. So. Make sure to clear all your opened apps especially if you have low amount of RAM. I would say less than 4 GB but clean it anyways it's quick and easy. This will ensure your phone is focused on processing only Roblox and no other apps. Next, since you're probably going to PvP one of the worst things that can happen is you getting a notification mid fight. And if you have small display it can ruin your whole fight and you're screwed. So, make sure to disable notifications before you enter blocks fruits if you want no distractions. And lastly, if you can't get a stable FPS that won't give you problems during PvP then I suggest you do not PvP. That may sound a little disappointing but if you don't want to break your phone out of anger because your PvP drops then don't PvP. Stick to the normal grinding and try to get items and other stuff because this game is full of it. So now, let's get to the real tips. First of all I think we can agree that controls are much more difficult on phones than they are on PC keyboard and mouse. And since different items require different levels of skills of using those controls using same items on PC and phones are not fair because PC wins almost always. So, you should be using items that require low levels of precision and movement and rely more on spamming of the moves. So what are these items? Well for fruits that would be something like Flame Dragon Quake or Venom. They are all relatively easy to use and are great for PvP. And if you want to use a sword I suggest that you use Saber V2 because of its insanely high damage. Lastly, for fighting styles I recommend Shark Man Karate or Electric Claw. Both of them are really good, although they aren't that easy to use but you can master them pretty fast. So now I will tell you some practical tips that will improve your performance in battle. Firstly you should learn a combo, especially one shot combos. That will help you out a ton because if you one shot an enemy you don't have to fight and rely on movement, which is hard for mobile players. So make sure to find a relatively easy combo on YouTube and practice it until you mastered it, it will improve your gameplay a ton. Next, you should use high stun items, Acidum Rifle, Ice or Dark Fruit. They all have high stun skills which will freeze your enemy and you can kill him easily. Now the next skills is really practical and it's don't hold your skills for too long. By holding them for too long you're giving your enemy space for choosing the move that he will hit you with and he can easily dodge your attack. So just spam them skills. Also you should be a step ahead and let your opponent waste his energy and then you attack so he can't escape and hit you back. Now, let's talk about shift lock. Shift lock on mobile can be both really good and really bad which depends on the what type of player you are. If you played a ton of FPS games on mobile you're probably going to find yourself more used to shift lock on. So. I would probably suggest you don't use shift lock but if you're already used to it go for it bro. Next thing is surprisingly a lot of people forget to activate their hockey before the fight so they end up losing a ton of advantages. So if you're bounty hunting make sure to always have observation hockey on. Also, also another tip for bounty hunting on mobile is to know when to give up and run. These days culture of never giving up is more and more accepted but if you want the best results for bounty hunting you should know when to give up and run. And accessories will definitely help you with that. If you want to know what are the best accessories make sure to check out this video. If this video helped you in any way don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe as we are trying to reach 100k subs. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.